Vaporesso, Switcher with NRG Tank. Let's have a look. Hey guys, Fendick here, back with another review. Today we are looking at this, the Vaporesso Switcher mod with NRG Tank. Now, if you're in the UK, if you're in the TPD area of the world, the UK, you get the NRG Mini, a 23mm sub-tank. If you are outside of the UK, you get this uh, with the NRG full sub-tank, which is the 26mm big sub-tank, I believe. Uh, so I have the NRG Mini with mine. So if you get it as a kit in the UK, it comes with the NRG Mini. What is it? Well, it is the switcher mod. It is called that because if you take the door off like this, you can actually remove this whole section and you can switch out your case. Uh, so, yeah, dual 18650 mod with interchangeable doors. Let's put this back on. Interchangeable uh, bodies and cases. I have a lovely brown one, but there are loads of colours available. Uh, so uh, that is what you can do with this. So it's interchangeable cases, and that is why it's called the Switcher. I believe when it first came out, it was called the Transformer, uh, but I think they were made aware that it might be a little bit infringing on the whole Transformers franchise and stuff like that, and we don't want to go down that route. So they very wisely changed the name of it to the Switcher. So you might see some reviews out there calling this the Transformer. So it's now called the Switcher. 220 watts is its maximum. It's got TCR, it's got TC, it's got all that good stuff, power curve, all that good stuff. It's got a big old square display. It's got a massive fire button in the middle. It's also got a huge 510 on this as well. Uh, you can fit 28 mil tanks on here uh, without overhang, which is very cool indeed. Dual 18650. It's got a bit of a, can you see that, a bit of a light show going on as well. Uh, yeah, it's an action-packed, big, chunky mod from Vapresso. Let's go down low, have a cheeky look at it, then we'll come back up top for pros and cons. See you in a sec. Okay, guys, here we are down low with the Switcher with NRG Mini from Vapresso. Uh, this is obviously the UK TPD version. It's got that big 2 mil sticker on there. Uh, NRG Mini comes with the UK version. If you're outside of the UK, you will probably get the full-size NRG in your kit. So bear that in mind. Really cool packaging, really sexy packaging. Uh, as always, from Vapresso, you've got your charge cable and your manual in there. In this side, you've got your mod, your tank, spare glass, and a spare coil. So let's get it all out. Okay, so firstly, the NRG Mini. The NRG and the NRG Mini, are, they're, they're identical, except for the fact they are just uh, different different widths and heights. It's just, a, it's just a smaller version of the NRG. You've got your adjustable airflow at the bottom, and uh, you've got your uh, push uh, top fill at the top, and it kind of swings out like that. Works very well, very cool. 510 drip tip, adjustable airflow, all that good stuff. It's a solid little tank. They've been using it for a little while. They've used it on a few kits, actually. Uh, it's a really solid sub-tank. They do make good sub-tanks. Vapresso. Uh, so there we go. That is that. This is the Switcher. The Switcher mod. Uh, it was previously called the Transformer mod, but they've changed the name to the Switcher mod. Switcher mod, obviously, because... If you uh, open up this door like this, you can actually slide off this case. You can actually slide it off and you can get different cases, different colours, different patterns. And uh, yeah, you can have your different uh, cases and that works very well. Uh, this is the battery door. You have to open the battery door to get it to do that. Uh, Dual 18650, as you can see in series. Slide the door on. And... Uh, and there you go. So that's how you change the case, and that's how you change your batteries. Moving around the mod, huge 510 on top. 28mm tanks will go on here, 28mm atties will go on here without overhang. Huge, huge centred 510. It's so big and so illustrious. Actually, I think small tanks look a bit weird. It's a spring-loaded 510, but when we put this NRG Mini on, I actually think it looks a bit weird because the tank is so small and the 510 is so big. Uh, but there we go, what can you do? TPD and all that. Um, so yeah, huge 510, really big positive if you're one of these people that uses huge atomizers. Uh, definitely check out this mod if you do. 
huge big fire button here you've got your menu button the middle button there you've got your left and right buttons there in your micro USB to amp charging on there you've also got all these white bits here you can see through the mod that is actually a big LED light that lights up when you get it going uh, one two three four five let's get it going you can see there blue and what have you uh, new load say yes to that let's turn this down just in case we accidentally fire it uh, I think I'm at about 50 watts with this NRG tank so let's just do that uh, yes yeah, so when you fire it uh, it does light up you've got all your fancy colors there I hope that's coming across on camera it looks better in real life than it does on camera that's for sure so you've got your screen it's slightly strobing I'm sorry about that um, it's the nature of this it's not a color screen it's uh, just a one color LCD LCD display uh, it's very action-packed it's a very detailed screen uh, that comes onto clock if you don't press a button for long enough you've got your batteries at the top you've got what mode you're in at the top resistance uh, curve if you're using curve you've got your wattage there and you've got your puff count and puff time on the bottom very uh, very busy screen um, it's strobing on camera but in real life it's okay it's fairly clear it's fairly good screen um, the great thing about Vepresso, obviously, and always has been with their boards, is this menu button. One click on the menu button and you are into the menu. So you can click that three times and you can get into your mode. So you've got variable wattage high, variable wattage normal, variable wattage soft, CCW, you've got your stainless steel, you've got your NI, you've got your TI, you've got your TCR modes as well, you've got bypass. Uh, you've got your system settings as well, you can set the time, you can set your brightness, your puff count, your uh, smart on and off. Now that is just garbage feature, just ignore that feature. It's a feature that tries to guess what watts you want based on the resistance of your coil. It's pointless, it's absolute nonsense, so just ignore that. Screen timeout, how long your screen stays on. Uh, light, you've got your light options there. Version history, this is a firmware upgradable mod and uh, your exit there so yeah it's a it's a fully functional uh, fully busy thing if we go back in uh, we can change our mode and we can go to here and we've got our power curves here we can uh, change all that and we can vape it now in curve mode so we've got a big start off ramp in there goes down to normal little quirk but uh, yeah that is curve mode Uh, you've got all your step, all your temperature ones as well. We're not going to all those. You've got your TC; they're all adjustable on screen. You've got your bypass mode as well, and we'll go back to variable wattage normal, which is what uh, I tend to use. A boring old fart, uh, but as you can see, a very function-packed mod. There we go. There we go. Give you a little look round. Huge, big, clicky fire button. Very nicely placed. It feels very nice. I've got this brown case but there's loads of different colors of these available so you, and so you can get whichever one you want and you can also get extras as well it's got a little grippy feel on the side yeah it's a big old chunky action packed feature packed mod from Vepresso the switcher let's go back up top for pros and cons okay guys that was the switcher and NRG tank down low from Vepresso uh, let's just get right into it First off, this uh, NRG tank and NRG mini, really good, really good sub tank. Uh, vapes really nice. The coils seem really good. Um, the longevity on these coils seems excellent. The flavour is good. Uh, the cloud production is good. These are is a very nice sub tank, and I really like the top fill on it as well. Uh, no issues with the mini or the full size NRG. I have used one of those as well. So sub tank. Yep, no issues with that big tick on the sub tanks. What I will say though about the sub tanks while we're getting into it, I'm also looking at this from uh, for, from Vapresso as well. This is the Cascade tank, and I think the Cascade tank because it's a really big tank. This it's a, it's a super sub tank. Um, it's an absolutely monstrous big tank. I actually think this tank looks better on this mod than uh, the NRG does. Uh, so maybe consider just getting the mod on its own and looking out for a cascade tank because I think that looks better because it's such a big mod, such a big tank and it fits on here lovely and flush. 
Uh, so I think that's a definite option. So that's that's a thing. That's a thing. Um, this itty bitty little NRG Mini looks a little bit dwarfed on uh, on such a big mod, uh, but that is just the UK TPD people. The uh, outside of the UK, you get the big NRG tank, the 26 mil tank, anyway. So so it's all good. It's all good. The sub tank, irrespective of looks, the sub tank works really nicely, really nicely indeed. The mod itself, functionally, the mod is spot on. Uh, the screen is nice and bright and clear. It's not colourful or anything like that. It's not too fancy. Uh, but it's a very clear and accurate screen and tells you everything you need to know on it, which is very good. Uh, all the functions on here, TC, TCR, power curve, all seem really, really nice. The battery life seems really nice on this as well. Uh, I really like the menu button one click on the menu button and you are bang into the menus you've got your left and right button and you've got your fire button and it, it makes it really easy to navigate Vapresso have always done really nice menus on their board super easy to access very quick to access easy to navigate easy to understand so I really like that about this switcher mod and Vapresso mods in general it's got all the light show going on um, functionally and technically power output TC TCR so the screen, the menu, all that stuff is absolutely great. I think my only gripes with this kit really are the visuals on it, the looks. Uh, the light show, it looks pretty cool when it's lighting up and it's all lit up. But when it's not, you're left with this weird white mesh in all these sections. And I think it looks a bit crazy. It looks a bit weird. It's like, what is that underneath there? What, what, uh, it's like it's like it's a carrier bag stuck inside your mod. Um, it, it's got a strange look to it when it, they're not lit up. When they are lit up, it looks quite cool. It looks quite nice. Um, the other thing is the actual cases. Some I really like. There's a green one that looks really cool, uh, and this brown one looks quite nice. Some of them look a bit weird. Look a bit a bit tacky in my opinion. And then finally, again on the aesthetics, on the looks. It's a big thing, this. It is a big, big, chunky thing. Um, it, it feels huge in the hand. It's a zinc alloy, so it's very heavy and sturdy. It's really well made, don't get me wrong. It's really well put together. It's really rock solid. But it's a very chunky thing. It's a very chunky mod. The one advantage of that, of course, is that huge 510. It's got 28 mil tanks. If you use those huge RDAs, those huge RTAs, the huge sub tanks, then uh, this is a good mod for you because it's uh, it's going to fit on nice and snug with those massive atties. So that so yeah, it, it's a very chunky big mod. It is a very chunky big mod, uh, and I'm not sure 100 percent about the looks, especially that white bit down the middle. Some of the cases look a bit funky. Um, it doesn't come with any extra cases as well, so it's not like you can buy it straight out of the box and switch your cases around. You could have to get those separately somehow. So that's a thing. Um, but uh, no actual gripes with the way the mod performs, anything functionally. I think the sub tank is excellent. Uh, check out the Cascade tank as well. I'm going to do a video for that too. Um, that's a cool sub tank, and I think that looks great on this mod. Um, so functionally, on all that sort of stuff, the board, all that stuff, excellent, excellent mod. Sub tank, excellent flavor, excellent clouds, great coil, longevity and life. Battery life on the mod is great too. Really like the screen. All that stuff is good, just not sure about the aesthetics. It's a very, very chunky monkey uh, with these crazy light show going on. Um, but that's personal taste. That's That'll just be, you know, up to you as well. So let me know in the comments what you think of this kit, of this mod. Have you got it? How are you getting on with it? Let me know in the comments. Um, it's a thumbs up for how it performs. It's a bit of a mm, on looks. I'm not sure. Not 100% sure. It's a little bit out there on looks. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. I've been Memvic, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.